Happy Monday, September 30th, 2024, and this is your Western Pioneer Weekly Update. I hope everyone got a little bit of time to focus in on their own business from last week's bi week with our Western Pioneer Properties and our Western Pioneer Financial Meeting. It was more just one-on-ones and want to give a lot of shout out to everyone who took the time to go into the portal, whether it be WPP's portal or WPF's portal, and book time with me in your calendar. And that makes me feel validated as a broker. That makes me feel that I'm here for your support. And ultimately, I'm here to grow your business. And so I just want to say, you utilize that tool, please continue to use it. And as we are getting deeper in this things, I'm building better relationships with my loan officers. I'm building better relationships with my realtors just by tapping in like this. We get vulnerable, we talk about things, we talk about challenges, and that's what it's there for. I can't let you die on the vine unless you're gonna die on yourself. So please start tapping in with me, tapping into our meetings, tapping into Western Pioneer, please start showing the effort because we are growing and we are making noise. I am getting validations and confirmations in the industry that our social media is definitely blowing up. We are on the top of the mind with people. People know Western Pioneer. They're driving down one of the busiest streets in Fresno. They're seeing Western Pioneer. They're getting offers from Western Pioneer agents. They're putting in it with consideration. They're seeing pre-approvals with Western Pioneer Financial and they know that team does not play. So I wanna just give everyone an applause right now to smell the roses to let you know you're doing a fantastic job. And guess what? This week is gonna bring an end to the third quarter and it's fourth quarter. It's separation season, guys. We know what happens in fourth quarter. We know a lot of realtors and loan officers are gonna take their foot off the gas, but that's not Western Pioneer. We got a lot of good stuff coming up. We got trunk or treat coming up. We got holidays coming up. We got Christmas parties coming up, but that's not gonna be a distraction to our performance performance and to our pipeline because we're going to sprint to the finish line and we're going to dominate and finish the year strong. Let's not rest on our laurels, guys. Interest rates two weeks ago just got cut, even though immediately they actually increased mortgage rates, but they will have a trickle in effect, number one. Number two, all loan officers and realtors should use headlines like that as a marketing campaign. Yes, they don't know the little nuances behind closed doors that when the feds announced that immediately interest rates actually went up as far as mortgage rates uh, because you know they have a direct effect with auto loans and credit card interest rates before they start affecting mortgage rates. It is coming, but use that as a ploy to reach out to your borrowers. Use that as a ploy to drop a social media content. It is a marketing piece when they do say feds are cutting interest rates. What it's doing, it's bringing public perception back into the marketplace with confidence. And that's what we like to see. And we're getting more submissions than ever right now. We're getting more applications in. We're getting more escrows open and we are just getting started. So I have so many big plans for us in 2025 that it's just gonna start in December because we're gonna get ahead of the curve. We have a lot of surprises coming. I mean, just to reflect back on this year with our two portals that we built out, with our Go Western Pioneer, with our Monday CRM, with our sales screen, so many tools that we rolled out this year, now we're gonna perfect them, which leads me into this week, leads me into a combined meeting on Wednesday at 11 a.m., Western Pioneer Financial and Western Pioneer Properties, and we're gonna talk about the tools and resources that we have to offer here. We're gonna start with our portal. I wanna know on both sides what you would like to see. I need some feedback, guys. Come on, bring some notes, Br bring some suggestions to our meeting so we know what you would like to see in these portals to best support your business to take it to the next level. Not only that, we're gonna talk about sales screen. We're gonna talk about Monday CRM. We're gonna talk about all the tools and resources that we have to offer, but we're gonna go a little bit deeper on them. So moving forward, we are gonna start having meetings weekly for a half hour with anyone that is on sales screen and Monday. Okay, these are two very high level softwares and technologies to be able to monitor, to track, to follow up with your pipeline and also to measure your activity levels on what you're doing to grow and increase your business. Too many of us on sales screen are using it just for the outcomes just to maybe show off we got an open escrow or just funded or just listed, which is a great, great thing. And it's a byproduct of all the activities you are doing. But if we're just using sales screen just to dangle in our outcomes, that's not what it's there for. As a matter of fact, our company, Western Pioneer, we are an activity-based corporation. We know if we trust the process, if we do the work, if we do the activities, 
by nature, we are gonna get the outcome. So I don't even care about the outcomes. I don't even need to look at the outcomes. I wanna focus in on the activities. I've mentioned it before. I get more fulfillment that I see when people are doing activities, doing the work, trusting the process, showing up to the office, or at least hitting your phone calls remotely, than I do actually looking at my balance sheet or my income statement at the end of the month. I get fulfillment on seeing people trying to grow, trying to thrive. And that's where I wanna make sure that we are supporting each and every one of us. And again, at the end of the day, I don't think I charge anyone any fees for sales screen or Monday if you're using it. If you don't use it, you will lose it. Or if you are not using it to its right capability and just for the outcomes on sales screen, that's not what it's gonna be there for. And I do need those who are requesting a seat that have a seat show up to our meetings when we do have the sales screen and Monday meetings. And most likely it will be on Zoom. So there's no excuses that you can't remotely tap into us to talk about these things. Talk about the amount of appointments this week you had. Talk about how many pre-approvals you had this month. These are the open and honest conversations that we need to be having. You know, less water cooler talk, more production talk, and that's how we're gonna head in for fourth quarter. So our meeting on Wednesday is all about our tools and our resources, the good, the bad, what you'd like to see, but I'm not gonna keep rolling out new technology and new things to keep confusing you guys when we got the gold in our hands right here. We just need to use it. We just need to perfect it, and we just need to support each one of us together as a team, as a family, to make sure that we're moving in the right direction, staying in this business for the long term, not get in that mindset of maybe this isn't for me, oh, the market's tough. No, we're in this that, you know what, this is gonna change the trajectory of my family. This active income could actually turn into passive income where so many jobs can't do that. We have so many abilities and using this platform, Western Pioneer Financial, Western Pioneer Properties, Loan Officer, Realtor, as your vehicle to get where you need to go. We're here, we're ready to put the gas in your tank, but we need you to show up to the gas tank so we can do it together. That's all I have for you guys this week. Another powerful week. Let's get after it. Fourth quarter, we're stomping down your neck. Let's go.